Kevin Moses here with Moses In Home Fitness. I am the functional diagnostic nutritionist of a wellness center and also a fitness center here. And I want to explain something. A question came up to me and they said, Kevin, I've heard of this leaky gut syndrome. What is leaky gut? Well, leaky gut syndrome is when your mucosal barrier, which is your inner lining of your skin, which it starts in your mouth, right there, goes down your esophagus, into your stomach, into your intestines, and out your genitals. That's your mucosal barrier. And it's protected, if you remember biology class, by all these little microvilli, okay? Millions and trillions of these, and these protect you all the way down out your body. So if anything's coming in, pathogens, parasites, bacteria, yeast, anything that's going to create a bad environment is protected by this mucosal barrier. Now, unfortunately, this mucosal barrier can be jeopardized by numerous reasons. Consuming too much sugar, consuming too much alcohol, taking antibiotics, eating the wrong foods create an environment for leaky gut syndrome. Well, again, what is leaky gut? Okay, so here are, the, here are these microvilli, and we create an inflammation on top of these microvilli, okay? And they're very tight. They're called tight junctions. And they're sticking together. They're supporting you. Food comes in. They release enzymes and juices to help digest and facilitate those nutrients to make sense to our body to function properly throughout the day. Well, what happens if we consume alcohol or antibiotics or any of those bad foods that we know of, donuts are great, fried food is also great for creating this, these microvilli get fatigued and inflamed and they open up. They open up and they start to atrophy. And there's actually pictures on the internet of these atrophying. Okay, or atrophied, I should say. So now these junctions are open. Now you have a leaky gut syndrome because now what can happen is you can consume a food that you think is very healthy, apples, yeah. chicken, steak, whatever, and these uh, microvilli are not protecting you from that food and actually food particles can get into your bloodstream creating immune reaction because now you're not completely digesting that food. Okay. That's the bottom line of leaky gut syndrome. That's a short explanation of it. Just wanted to share. So some of you may out there, you know, well, if I have it, well, what should I do? Well, let's find out if this leaky gut has allowed any pathogens into your body, create more, uh, you know, inflammation, more disease. Pathogens could be parasites, bacteria, or yeast. Those are the three that I look for in some of the labs that I do. And... What you also want to do is take some probiotics, some good bacteria that can support your mucosal barrier because I don't know if you know it, but we have trillions of bacteria in our gut, okay? And this is our immune system. This helps digest food. This supports the thyroid and other organs, the adrenal glands, hormones. So it's so important to have a functional gut because if not, you're going to have allergies, you're going to be sick frequently, you're going to have bloating, you're going to have acid reflux, constipation, diarrhea, the symptoms go on, I can't sleep at night. Why can't you sleep? Because your immune system is working overtime. And when it's working overtime, it's releasing a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is going to wake you up, and that's why you're up at 2 a.m. You can't get up to sleep till 4, you wake up tired, and it's a vicious cycle. And unfortunately, until you identify those pathogens, until you start to repair the gut, you're going to always be in this place, okay? So if you got more questions, you need to call me now. Free consultation, 15 minutes. Just identify if I can even help you, okay? If I can't, you can go somewhere else and you can take some more antibiotics or whatever you want to do. But I guarantee the clients that I've seen in the past three years have worked with my protocols, have seen tremendous results. So go to my testimonial page, look at my testimonials, and check those out. You can contact those people if you're, if you're curious if I really know what I'm doing. So again, that website is MosesInHomeFitness.com. Check me out and ask me any question you want. I hope I can help you out. Thanks.